Hi everyone, today I'm going to uh, do a very quick video on using Ansible Vault. I've talked about it in previous videos, like the one um, about building VMware virtual machines in Ansible. And um, so today I'm just going to do a very quick demo of how you can encrypt files, edit files, um, and you know use Vault to, to encrypt your sensitive data. <laughs> So here we have a playbook that I've used previously. Um, it has a secrets file, it has a variables file, and it has a playbook. So the playbook just goes through and builds some servers. Now, in here we've got a username and a password, um, and we have a vars file. So what the first thing I'm gonna do um, is in the playbook, I've actually split things out. Uh, we have got the vars and we've got the secrets. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna go and encrypt the secrets. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you that this playbook runs. Um, now, these VMs are already up and built, so what it should do is be very quick in building them and, and show you that they're, that they're already there. So what I'm going to do now is vault um, and encrypt the secrets file. Now, watch what happens when I do that. I'm going to have to put a password in, which I've now done, and now this is encrypted. We can't read the contents of that file. Now, if I run this playbook now, it won't work because it doesn't know what the uh, what the encrypted you know, data is all about. So what we need to do is at the end of this, do an ask vault pass. So it's gonna ask for the Ansible vault password. So here's the vault password, and it's gonna go through now and run those machines. Now, interestingly, if your VARS file was also uh, had sensitive data in it, we could do exactly the same thing. So we can encrypt the VARS file. And there you go, all the data is now encrypted. If we run this, it will still go through and run that playbook. Now, interestingly, obviously, we can go back and decrypt that data. So we can just run decrypt bars, give it a password, and our data is back. The other thing you can do on the command line, uh, if you're, let me encrypt it first. So we'll encrypt the bars file. Um, the other thing you can do, instead of encrypt, you can just do edit in the password and it will just give you an editor on screen here where you can do it so if you haven't if you don't want to go through the whole decrypt encrypt decrypt encrypt just edit it um, and then you've got the data here obviously that's not going to work in uh, visual studio uh, or any ide uh, but if you're just on the command line and you need to make a change just use the edit go through make this make your changes save the file and you're good to go um, and that's it everyone that is uh, how to use ansible vault um, to encrypt your sensitive data. Thank you very much.